Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another matcher that is two match matcher. So, what is this two match? So, when we need to use this two match? So, previously we have learned about this two contain matcher, right? So, two contain matcher, what it will try to do? So, just it will try to find whether a string or substring is present or not, or otherwise whether an element is present in an array or not. So, it will try to see like that. Whereas this two match also does one and the same thing only, but it is different. So if you want to search for a particular value using the regular expression, so using the regular expression, you can use the two match matcher. So two contain and two match are both are different, quite uh, different. But I am telling you, so you can use this two match to find a substring in a string also, something like with the regular expression or a string. Or otherwise, using the regular expression, we can find for a particular value or particular data is present in the uh, expected result or not. So let's try to see about this two matcher. So if we try to see the definition, so it ma it tries to expect the actual value to match a regular expression. So here the expected value will be regular expression or a string. And here they have given some of the examples, something like expect my string to match the regular expression or other string to match her. Her means here you are having her right in the other. So it will match so that it will give you the true. Here also it will try to see that whether a string is present at the end or not. Dollar means at the end. So let's try to see that in our uh, in our specs whether we can use this to match or not. So for example, so whenever we are doing a calculation or anything, when we are doing addition, so we expect the total, the value to be a number, right? So other than number, we should not accept it. So let's try to uh, write a regular expression for that one to match to match with the number. So how can we write a regular expression for that one? So let's try to see. It. So I am using regex one at one. So let's try to open this one. So for example, when you are doing addition or subtraction, you will get 50 or minus 50, something like this, you will be getting the number. So this is the total value, mostly you will be getting. So something like 50 means any number you are getting. Now if for, for, for that one, if you want to match it means, what is the regular expression you can do it? So here you can add it with a slash D. Okay, slash D means it's a digit. So matches a digit equivalent to 0 to 9. So here it has matched to 0 okay so now 5 has not been matched okay 5 has not been matched. why because so we need to tell that it should have one or more okay one or more so here you are having one or more so it can be 500 or 5000 or something like that so one or more so for digit to match one or more means what is that you will be giving plus so now it has been matched okay one or more so if you try to see here also it has been matched and here also it has been matched okay so now we have matched the digit and now so here you they are trying to give it okay now what we need to do and we need to match this minus also so it can be whether either this minus will be present or not present so it depends so in order to give that one so we can give minus now if you have given the minus see the 500 has not been matched why because so 500 doesn't have a minus symbol but here we have kept that minus symbol as the mandatory so we need to tell that so it's not a mandate, it may be 0 or 1. So one time only it should be present. So we can keep a question mark here. So question mark matches one time. So now again, these two has been matched. So we can use this regular expression for a, what I can say, for for calculating, for getting the total. So let's try to see this one, for checking with the total. So here I am writing to match matcher it should return total a number okay so now function let's try to get the calculator or instance constant calculator is equal to new calculator i am using the new calculator here and now what we need to do so let's try to take calculator dot total is equal to 10 so i am having a 10 value now i want to do expect calculator dot add of 10 so now 10 plus 10 is 20 right so what we can do to be of 20 we can use it like this so that means it should it should match to 20 now if you try to see the output so what could be the output here if i try to see it here so if i try to refresh should return a total should return totally a number here if you try to see at the last spec it has been passed but what is the problem here is so exactly we are checking with the 20 so now we can we can use now we can use this two match matcher to tell that 
okay whatever may be the number it can be 20 it can be 30 or whatever may be the number it should match the it should be a digit so we can use this regular expression now expect calculator dot total dot to match okay we can use this regular expression what we have written so here this is the regular expression we have written right so i can copy this one and i can paste it down here and i can use the uh, we need to use the slash and like this okay that's it so now it has been matching like no, now it has been matching so we need to use this slash d also okay so sorry we should not use this one okay so we should use this one so that's it now let's try to see whether we are able to get the output or not if i try to see so now this one also got passed so it has been matched the regular expression has been matched now we can now not only with the regular expression we can also use the string also we know that calculator dot total returns a number so that means the type will be a number so here we can write something like expect type of calculator dot total dot to match so i can use this number so the type of calculator dot total is a number now if i try to see the output okay here again the spec has been passed now if we see if i use something like one or something like one two three so now the type of calculator dot total should be match one two three should contain one two three if, it, if we written like this means see expected number to match one two three so it is not matching so for example if i use something like uh, ber at the, at the at the end of this thing number number we are having ber right if I try to use, then also the spec has been passed. Why? Because it has matched the characters. So it has matched some part of the string. So in the same scenario, here also we can use it. Or otherwise, if you try to do A to Z, if you are trying to if you are trying to use A to Z means A to Z means nothing but so we are we are trying to match the alphabets. But the calculator the total returns only the number side. Right? So let's try to see. Here expected 20 to match with the regular expression so the regular expression is not matching the total since so now we can go back to the like this okay so now this is how we can use this to match operator just to say that to match if you if you want to check the output or otherwise to check the data with the regular expression means so you can use this to match so this is the main thing i am trying to tell you not only the regular expression here you can also check it with the string so here what it will try to do this is something like regular expression only it is trying to find that whether a number br is present in this string or not it is trying to check it that's it so it is also matching with the regular expression only but it will try to find the part of the string is present or not that's it no, nothing more than that one so to match it'll check only with the regular expression you can you can something like i can something say like that so this is about the two match matcher. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.